Davy, Barry came looking for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he was shouting about you needing to get on a ship to, at Snow Point City. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I can ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Is your project with Professor Rowan coming along? Yeah. Sure it is, Mom. Well, it's been a long while since I've touched Pokemon Diamond. So, there's one little problem we have before we can go on continuing. We don't have the National Dex yet. We need to see five more Pokemon. Wait, five? I thought it was four more. What are we missing? All right, I figured it out. I figured out what we were missing. Just had to check at the end of the Pokedex to realize we're missing Palkia, which we can't actually obtain without looking at this book. The Pokemon's born intelligent blown among us, yada yada. I think we've read this already. I think we have to talk to Cynthia's grandmother. Well, hello, you look good. I did some research on my own since that spot of trouble last time. Matt Cornette acting up had me very concerned too. Well, this is what I found in the shrine. It's a book. It's quite old. See for yourself. Yep, there's Palkia, the Pokemon that binds spatial dimensions. It is written. It seems that there were two Pokemon in ancient Sinnoh. They respectively stood as symbols of time and spatial dimensions. Alright, that's out of the way. Now the other thing is, well, in here, if it'll show up, I think, I don't know which floor it'll show up in, so we'll just go down a floor. What do you gotta say, kid? There's something really weird about these ruins. That's why I like coming here, but... To come to my house after, I'll give you some neat seals. Oh, okay. Probably we'll do that off screen, probably won't do it. Okay, then, there we go. And there's an unknown. I will focus on capturing all those on my own time, but for the moment, there it is, and we're going to leave it. All right, so we're going to go ahead, and I went to the wrong fucking area. Anyways, in the correct area, uh, we have the lake trio to go catch. So let's go get that out of the way, shall we? Let's get the annoying one out of the way first. Ready Lake Front, where we got our starter Pokemon Empress. Yep. You could catch these Pokemon before beating the game, but I always like to catch them after beating the game. Alright, there it is. Uh, what? Nah, I won't save right now. And it's gone. Master it flew off somewhere. That was Mustard, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I asked you to do at the Canyon Lake Library. I asked you to get data on the Pokemon of the lake, and you did. But I didn't provide you any answers about the mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only deepened the mystery. But having mysteries to solve. That's my enjoyment. Davy, why don't you chase after Mesprit? To me, it seemed as if it wanted to play with you. If you were to use the Poketch app marking map, you'd be able to track the movement of the Pokemon. Go on, Davy. I'm sure that you will keep meeting countless Pokemon and people. Those encounters will keep thrilling you in your own, sp in their own special ways. I hope that you'll enjoy that experience. Take care, Davy. Also, should note, uh, we are no longer going in blind because I played BDSP, and, well, that's essentially just the same thing as this. Alright, so let's pull up the marking map real fast. That's not it. Where is that? Is that should be it. Alright. This is how we get to hunting this thing. This is the method I know of.
Going back and forth until it shows up. Do you see why I won this first? Ah, it's finally in this route. Okay. Now let's hope we run into it. There we go. Alright. Level 15 Esprit. Let's go. Mean look. Alright, there we go. It can't escape. Now, let's hope we can't... Let's hope we don't kill it. Okay, don't do too much damage. Okay, that did... A good amount. Hmm... I'll risk one more wing attack. Come on, don't... Don't... Don't take it down. We need to catch this thing. Okay, that's good enough for me. Alright, time to start throwing some Pokeballs. Should be ten. Oh, sure. Turn 10, you decide to catch. <laughs> Alright. I see how it is. Known as the being of emotion, it taught humans the nobility and sorrow. Pain, joy... I read that wrong, but whatever. No. All right, on to the next, like, uh, Guardian. All right. Yes, yeah, Surf. All right, we've been here before, back when Team Galactic fucking bombed the place. That interruption out of the way. Come on. All right, let's go. Alright, 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 alright. Eh, fine. Nah, actually, no, I won't save. Let's catch Azelf. Alright, let's do this. Wing attack. We're gonna do the same strategy as before. Yeah, that's enough for me. Two. I'll show up the Thunder Quick Ball first, but whatever. Six. There we go. Good to go. Known as the being of willpower, it sleeps at the bottom of a lake to keep the world in balance. Alright, Snow Point City time. We have one to get, and that is Yuxi. Hopefully I get there quick. Alright, Lake Acuity, where Barry got his ass kicked. Alright, let's do this. Find out the Lake Trio, and then we can get our national decks. Let's do this. For anything, let's throw a quick ball. 
Yeah, I got like 10. I swear to God, if that worked. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh, fuck off. Okay, I'm gonna have to get ahead in now. Okay, get a good hit in. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Ten. All right, after this ball, if it doesn't work, we're throwing time balls. I swear to Christ. Please, please get in the ball. Just get in the fucking ball. So it's one shake and it gets me slightly excited. Like, come the fuck on. Motherfucker! Oh my god. Just getting the damn ball already. I'm not weakening you anymore. This is all you get. I'm almost out of fucking timer balls. Jesus Christ. Fuck you. We are now out of timer balls. Fucking hell. Just get in the fucking ball. This fucking Pokemon, man. Oh no. Just a friendly reminder, I have not saved. I'm doing a coin flip. Heads, it's just throw another Ultra Ball. Tails, it's throw my Master Ball and just get it over with. It's saying Tails. As much as I don't want to. I feel like I probably should, so I don't have to do this all over again. For once, I am actually using my Master Ball. Because fuck it, I haven't saved and I'm not doing this again. God damn it, whatever. What was I even gonna use a Master Ball on anyways? Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck ever. 
Known as the being of knowledge, it is said that it can wipe them. Um, it is said that it can wipe out the memory of those who see its eyes. No. All right. So now with that, we have seen 150 Pokemon. We have gotten the Synodex done. Oh, hey, Don. How's it going? Hi, Davey. May I see your Pokedex? Oh my gosh, you've seen every kind of Pokemon in Sinnoh. Have you shown your Pokedex to Professor Ron yet? Well, I'm going to right now. Ah, Davey. You come show me your progress on the Pokedex? Yes. Hmm. So, you've seen 150 Pokemon. Bravo, Davey! You've recorded all the Pokemon of Sinnoh in your Pokedex. This will uh, help immensely with my studies on Pokemon Evolution. Oh shit, it's Professor Oak! Greetings, Professor Owen! It's been a very long time. I'll tell you, Seno certainly is a long trip from Kanto. Of course, if it means meeting new Pokemon, there's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh, if it isn't my old colleague, Professor Oak. I should have expected as much from the world's authority on Pokemon. We always used to joke, where there are Pokemon, you'll find Oak. It's good to see that hasn't changed one bit. Oak, let me introduce you to my young assistant. This youngster has filled every page of the Sinnoh Pokedex for me. Ah, well, very glad to meet you. As you heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you from Professor Rowan lately. He's been a... He's been exuberant in praise about a fantastic young trainer. I see that you live up to... No, that you've surpassed the, his praise. You've also got an impeccable sense of timing. You see, I have an errand to run for Professor Rowan on my visit here. He asked me to bring data for the National Pokedex, you see. So, since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. After all, there are many kinds of Pokemon in this world of ours. And there we go! Finally have the National Pokedex. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex. God no, my fucking doing that! Holy shit! <laughs> I don't want that star in my turner card that badly in this game. I've already done that brilliant diamond. However, I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. No, I fucking won't. I have no fear, Davey will get the job done. No, I won't! By the way, Professor Oak, what compelled you to visit this region? Ah, yes, I've heard that the Pal Park is now open. If I remember correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. The Pal Park has a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. Come to make certain that system is operating properly. Davey, you should make an effort to visit the Pal Park too. Oops, I'll be late for my meeting if I don't get going. Okay, it was a pleasure meeting the both of you. Bye now. There he goes. Off he goes, as busy as ever. Now, Davey. I have a gift to, here as your reward for completing the Sinnoh Pokedex. Oh, the Poke Radar, yeah, that's good for shiny hunting in this game. That's Poke Bone Radar, just Poke Radar for short. Use it and it will indicate grass patches for Pokemon are lurking. I prepared that to help my field assistants put together the Sinnoh Pokedex. But you took care of that. Sure, it'll be useful for your goal of filling the National Pokedex. Alright, let's get out of here. We have to get that, uh, boat trip out of the way. Might as well do it before we, you know, stop the part. Where? What is it? Do you want to sail to the battle zone? Yes. Aye, aye, then let's set sail. Let's go. This is where we're going for the post game. And there he is. 
Oh, hey, Davey. What took you so long? I had to catch three little shits. I'm finding you one... <laughs> 100 million polka dollars. God, I missed you, Barry. This is up. I'm going to become the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here. To toughen up myself and my Pokemon. Haha, <laughs> sorry. I couldn't help overhearing that. But the greatest trainer ever? That's going to be really tough. Because you're talking about me. To prove that, I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled, but you really don't know anything, do you? Alright, I'll tell you. This is the battle zone, okay? At the far end, there's a volcano. And deep inside the volcano, there's supposed to be a treasure. So, what's the big deal? If I find that treasure first, that'll make me the greatest trainer ever? That's what I'll do, Davy. And you too, stranger. I'm gonna get the treasure first. And before that, I'm gonna do the battle tower. See ya. That guy. Can't sit up. Oh, can he? Anyways, howdy. I'm Buck. Sheesh, that punk can't beat me. So, do you know that zippity doodah of a trainer? You should chase after that guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You better ship up at the battle tower first, too. I don't like your chances of getting to the volcano otherwise. Be seeing you. We are not going to the battle tower, but... Eh, we might visit it at some point. But, with that... Fucking hell, stay still. With that, we have started the post game. We have just this island to go through, and then, well, we got some legendaries to catch. But, for right now, I will see you all next time. Goodbye.